all right great so in this video I promise to show you how to customize the model or customize customize the details that will show up in this list so what we need to do is add a couple of model files and then we use those to show up on our I mean we, we use those to show data in our list so let's add a new group here let's call that model and then we're gonna add new files and let's call let's make that an objective C class and then this is just gonna have a what should we call it photo group and this is just gonna be a NS object and then we're gonna have a, an NS string we'll have a name and then account which is gonna be an integer and then let's Use a copy for that because it's a string. Let's call that a name, and then one for the integer, the count as well. Okay, so the next step is to synthesize that. And then, since this project we're not using, um. We're not using the automatic reference counting, so let's do a dialog and then release those when, I, when, we, when we need to. And it looks like I think that's all we need to do for now. So, so if I go to the menu view controller, for example, and then create a new array or actually add an array in the in the header file let's call that photo groups Let's make it camel case so camel case so that we can easily understand what that means. So if you go back to the menu view controller that M, let's just do the synthesize and then add a dialog. Sorry, add a release so that we can easily release those. So that we don't have any leak in memory. Okay, so next step is now to just create an array of those which we can use later so in the view did load method we could add or just say uh, photo groups let's create an array of locations so let's just say that we'll have uh, names So this could be an example of locations that people have gone and they just want to group all the pictures that they took on their trip. So let's give a quick list of places. Places I would like to go. Maldives, Seychelles, Bora Bora. You can see I love exotic places, right? Okay, let's add some metropolitan places to that. Let's click Dubai. What else? What else? Um Kuala Lumpur these are cities I would like to be in so anyways we will add those okay so now let's build our array of photo groups from that so that will be um, well let's create a new one if any NS mutable array which you can add in the loop Okay, then we now say for each ns string location in names. Okay, let's give that, give that a wrong name. So we now say um, groups that add object. So we need to do some like create a new photo group. So let's before we do that, let's create a photo group. 
I think it's not included in our uh, photo gribble H. And then going back here, we'll just need to say we have a photo group. And then we initialize that. And then group dot name will be our location and then group dot count uh, let's just say 10 every time it's gonna be 10 and then we'll add that object in here all right so after we do that we can actually release our group as well so now when we have that array done then we can just add use this array to create our photo groups array with array groups so we have that so now photo groups is going to be like our model so we now have in this model a list of locations and each location has a count so the count is going to be how many pictures there are so your model will come from what data that you're going to be using so what we now need to do is the idea is now we have a list of locations in here and then we need to plug that into our table view so the first thing we need to do is to change our UI table view delegates the first thing we need to I mean the first one we need to look at is the number of rows in section and to, to configure that we need to go photo groups the count so basically the number of rows that we have in our list is going to be the number of images there are I'm sorry the number of locations there are in our photo groups and I think for now that's all we need to configure we have just one section and also we need to configure the name of that cell so then to do that and um, we'll need to say okay so here we're going to return a cell. So that's something like a cell, the set label and count, for example. But we don't have this function in our cell, so we need to go create that function. So if you go to our menu view cell and then go to the header file, let's give a new method that says, I'll say let's say set cell location and give that a string. with a count so that was the with image count for example and this is the method that we can call when we know what label we have and what count we have so if I now go in here and I say set cell location so we have a location here so this has to go into our label so if I go label set text to location and then our and then the other thing we need to also set is our BG count because if you go to our menu view cell we have our image view the label another label there so these two labels is basically what we need to to configure so that's called the image count so the second one is the image count we could directly do that but then this is an integer so that's not gonna work so we need to print that with a string, a string with format percentage D count. So what this does is it converts our count to a string and then puts that string in the text. We're almost done. What we just need to do is now call this application, sorry, call this method from our menu view controller. So if I now go here, so that's in the cell for row at index path, and I say cell set what did I call it set details set cell location exactly set cell location with image count so in this case we're gonna have in, we need a string and an integer and where do we get that string from that will be from the photo group that is at this index path so there's the photo group that is at the current row so if we now take our list of photo groups object at index index path row 
So this is going to give us the current photo group at that row. That's going to be a type photo group. Yep, so what we can now do is now go in here and say group.name and then group.count. I think that's all we need to do. So let's run that and see what shows up on our, on our list. Right, great. So you see now we have Maldives, Seychelles, Dubai, Bora Bora. So the idea is people can actually can now click. And then if you knew what how many pictures there were, we'll also configure that as well. So click on Seychelles, we can have all the information about Seychelles and then the thumbnail picture. And then when you click on one of those, then you now actually have um, the scroll view in here that shows you all the, in this case, would have been 10 pictures. So thank you for watching. That's actually the last video in this series. Um, I hope you got a lot of value from it. If you did, please let me know. If you have any questions, just leave a comment on this video and I'll be there to answer it. If you have any suggestions for other videos that you would like to see or some other things that you would like to see covered in this in this series, but I did not cover, cover them, leave a comment and yeah, I'll try and respond to it as soon as possible. All right, to so download the sample project of this tutorial and the design files for free, all you need to do is enter your name and your email in the form below and then I will send you the design files and the sample project. And you'll also get updates when more tutorials are released on the YouTube channel. And if you're watching this video on YouTube, please subscribe to the App Design for channel so that you don't miss future tutorials on how to design cool looking apps. Alright, thank you very much and um, watch out for the next video.